Hi, welcome to Heart Ninja. This tutorial is uh, on the interactive circle of fifths and how it integrates into the tuning dojos for chromatic and diatonic harmonica. Let's go into the diatonic tuning dojo here. Uh, this is the circle of fifths button here and by integration I mean how the circle of fifths can be used to populate these chord buttons here. Uh, and then also how you can select the scale and chord. So let's go into the uh, circle of fifths. There it is there. Uh, just briefly explaining the user interface. On the top left, we have the harmonica key and position. Uh, what do we mean by that? Well, you can see here it's pre-populated with the key of C, which relates to the key that's selected there. If we change the key of the harmonica, we can see it's selected already here as the one that we just changed. We can change that back here and that will also change the key of the harmonica on the tuning dojo screen. Um, in every harmonica uh, you can play up to 12 different keys and not all of them are, are really useful and that you quite advanced some of them but uh, the main ones are first, second, third, fourth, fifth and sixth and twelfth. Some people would say 11th as well, and maybe we'll add that later, but for the moment, that's what we have. Uh, we can switch between positions mode and chords mode, which I'll explain uh, more in depth in a, in a minute. On the bottom right here, we have a legend, uh, which changes depending on which one we have, positions legend and chords legend. Uh, the colors are explained here what they mean. And on the bottom left, we have the exit button and the main menu button. So, what is the circle of fifths? Well, let's use positions mode to explain that. This is the simpler one. <clears throat> um, just using the Wikipedia entry here to keep it simple and consistent, which you can check out on the web, and there's also a lot of stuff on the web on circle of fifths if you want to investigate more. This tool is designed to simplify a lot of that information and condense it into a useful tool. Uh, circle of fifths is a visual representation representation of the relationships among 12 tones of the chromatic scale. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, back to 12, sharps and flats. In this case, we're not too worried about that, uh, the number of sharps and flats, which you can tell, but we're just interested in the relationships between keys and positions of harmonica. That's the main intent of it in the use for Harp Ninja. So what does a fifth mean uh, in musical theory? A fifth is, uh, it defines an interval uh, between one note and another in terms of semitones. Uh, it's a mathematical ratio, which is the closest and most consonant sounding as opposed to dissonant sounding, which is uh, a little bit hair on the back of the neck. Consonant is nice and tight and uh, clean, harmonically uh, stable is the most consonant non-octave interval, an octave being going from C to the next highest C. So it's it's actually seven semitones uh, you count up. So the circle of fifths is a sequence of pitches or key tonalities represented in a circle moving clockwise, uh, moving up. The next pitch is found seven semitones up from the previous one. So we're in the key of C here is number one, first position, counting up seven semitones, which is a fifth in musical theory, we get to G, which is second position on C harmonica. Counting up another seven semitones, we get to D, which is a fifth up from G, fifth interval between these two, which is third position on C harmonica. Again, counting up another seven semitones, we get to A, which is fourth position on a C harmonica, which is a fifth up from D. A minor, fourth position is also what's called the relative minor of the key of C. And that relationship holds for whatever key you select. Moving up another seven semitones, a fifth, we get to E. And then sixth position is another seven semitones up from E is B. And then all the way around, we get to F, which is 12th position, and then back to C. Uh, there is the corresponding circle of fourths, which goes the other way, which is moving in units of five semitones, which is what's called a fourth, an interval of fourth. So 
we go to if we go this way we get to f straight away and then correspondingly another five semitones b flat e flat and so on and so forth so by selecting any one of these we can change the the base key in this case it's c uh, second position is g and c and so on if we have i say a d harmonica and we want to see what the keys are second position on a d harmonica is a third position is e minor the colors here related to what we say here, mate, red is major, minor is blue. Uh, so we have an E harmonica. Twelfth uh, position is A, second position is B, third position is G flat. So let's go back to C and explain what the chords mean. Now it gets interesting because we can see here, we were saying before about a fifth and a fourth. Uh, we've now changed the numbers here, but what that, they mean in chord terms. So C, the fifth chord in the key of C is G, the fourth going circle of fourths is F. And then the other chords which in common harmony theory, uh, the second is a minor chord is D, C minor sixth which is its fourth position for key of C is A, uh, third minor is E, and then we have a diminished chord which is B. Again these colors are explained here. Now, how does this relate to the chord buttons in the Tuning Dojo? Well, let's just go back to the Tuning Dojo and you can see here that they're populated with what we laid out there. So C is 1, F is 4, G is 5, A minor is a 6 minor, 6 minor, 4, 5. And then we can just quickly select any of these and the chords show up there. But it gets really interesting when we want to look at the positions. So that's first position where C is, we're playing in what's called first position. So we want to look at, we want to populate those chord buttons with second position. So we can just select the drop down there. We're still in the key of C harmonica, but we want to look at second position, which is key of G. Remember, if we go back here into the positions when we can see that G is a second position. So G, but now we see the numbers have changed. So the fourth going back counterclockwise, circle of fourths for G, the fourth is C, circle of fifths going clockwise, going up seven semitones is D, which is now a minor fifth. Now we can click that button there and go back to the tuning dojo and we find that these chord buttons have been populated with what we selected. So now the display key is G, which is second position, mixolydian. Song key, is, which, which is what we're calling it here, is G. And by selecting any of these chords, you can quickly see where they sit on the harmonica. And you notice the colors change. Red being what's called the tonic of that chord, the number one. And it's easy to see if we look at the intervals here, because if we look at G, the G notes are here. If we look at the interval, one, three, five, one, three, five being the, the key notes that make up a major chord. If we look at C here, we can see one, three, five. That's a C chord there. C, E, G, the notes that make that up. Again, we want to look at D minor, the fifth, for playing in the song key of G, the fifth chord is a D minor, which is what's called third position on a C harmonica. One. And you can change the type of chord here if you want to see what was a minor seventh as well. You want to add in the flattened seventh, or maybe you just want to see what the root and the fifth are. And then to deselect it, you can just do that there. And uh, you can select third position any of these positions and go back and now we'll see it's changed it to song key is now D minor so we're looking at how is harmonica is a C harmonica but we want to look at what third position is which is key of D minor and now these chord buttons have been populated and we can just quickly click oh what's the fourth chord in D minor oh that's where it sits on the harmonica or oh, what's the fifth A minor which is uh, fourth position on a C harmonica 
And again, you can quickly change these to different chord types to see where they sit or if the notes don't fit. So that's uh, how the circle of fifths integrates into the tuning dojo. <clears throat> By clicking on any of these, that sets the main key and then you select the position through any one of these here. Okay.